Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors, and welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and what's going on, baby? It's been a minute. Man, when I tell y'all it's been a minute, I feel like I feel like I've really been missing y'all. And and that's that's no jokes, that's no caps or anything like that. But it's really been a while since I had the opportunity to hop on and talk to the successors. So baby, we're back. I got my laptop back. Uh, everybody who might have been following on the Instagram page at SYS Podcast One or any of the other social media platforms. Um, that's why we haven't been going live, but I, I feel refreshed. I feel really good. And um, those of you who have not connected with us, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all those platforms. And you can find us under SYS Podcast One. And if you're on, we're also on Twitter. And on YouTube, you can go to my personal YouTube page, which is Jonathan J Speaks. And then all of that will pop up but we na- man we're, we're back and t- today my, my heart is a little heavy not not really heavy I mean I feel I feel pretty light I feel great at the same time I want to just switch things up a little bit and today I want to come at this episode from a slightly different approach so you're gonna see us now rolling out the the shows a little bit different because I wanted to make a little change in order to add more value to you all the successors and by way of doing that I wanted to start off with a quote And this quote comes from a gentleman by the name of Viktor Frankl. And he's someone who survived the Nazi death camp by way of Auschwitz. And by defining ultimate freedom, um, this is what he had to say. It's the ability to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. One more time for my people in the back. It's the ability to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. Today, I want to talk about stop playing yourself. No more blame shifting. That's right. I said stop playing yourself. No more blame shifting. Uh, Just the other day, I think it was, and I, I put up a post on Instagram on my personal page, Jonathan Jones Speaks, and The post read control plus alt plus delete. So today uh, I want to talk about controlling yourself, altering your thinking and deleting negativity. And like I said, this is going to be a slightly different approach because this is uh, just a blend and a mix up and a melting pot, really, of my devotional that I was reading this morning with this Instagram post. And also just a little bit of my heart and, of course, some tangible application. Got to give the tangible application. So if you're with me, say yeah. I said if you're with me, say yeah. That's right, baby. That's right. That's right. Okay. So, man, I I, want to really talk to you today specifically because it's so easy for us to make ourselves a victim at times. Right? And, and, And I'm saying this not pointing the finger or blaming anybody, but when I tell you that, Getting your house renovated is what a lot of people say they want. You know, getting cabinets painted, um, getting rooms painted, getting different things installed, getting carpet tore up, getting new floor put in, like doing things like that. Like it sounds great and it, it looks even better on HDTV. But at the same time, if we're not careful, then we, we, we see the end result without going through the process. Right. Like how many times have you been wanting something for your life or been wanting something you've seen somebody else have, but you don't know what it took for them to get there? So today we're talking about the control, the all and the delete. And when I was reading uh, my devotional right now, I'm going through this this devotional where it, it talks about basically ridding yourself of negative thoughts And if you all want that link, I'll put that down in the show notes. It's 40 days to help basically rid yourself of negative thinking, fasting from negative thinking. Um, And 
it's easy, like I said, to make yourself a victim, right? It's like, oh, my goodness, they got my house in shambles because I have to move my stuff from here to there. I got to move all this around. I got to put this here. I got to put that there. But at the same time, don't nobody care. Like, you all don't care that I have to move my stuff around my house. You all don't care what I'm necessarily going through because you have your own set of problems. You have your own set of issues. You have your own set of challenges that you're facing on a daily basis. And some people's challenges might be a little bit heavier in that season. Somebody might be in a position to where they're struggling to come up with the rent. Somebody's in a position to where they're fighting for child custody for their own individual son or daughter. And then somebody down the road, they're like, man, I'm struggling because I can't just I, I can't get this grade in math. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to graduate. Like we have our own struggles and we have our own issues. And if we're not careful, then we can make ourselves a victim. And we're sitting there pouring this out, telling somebody else what we're facing and what we're struggling with. And then they're thinking, well, my like I just lost my mom to cancer. And you're talking to me about you're struggling to pass a class. Like I just got evicted out of my house and you're telling me that you're upset that you're getting renovations done to your home. So I want us to be careful. I really wanted to say that today just to remind us to be careful. And I'm really talking to myself uh, because I had to realize, like I talked about a few episodes ago, and if you all may or may not have seen, I was doing some periscopes while my computer was out, uh, out of service. And then I began to realize, well, John, people are going through some things right now and you just got to move the stuff back in your house. Like, yes, yeah, the end of the month, you might have to switch some money from here to there to make sure you get the rent covered and make sure you pay for this bill, pay for that bill, because there's some additional expenses that are coming because uh, I'm getting ready to get married in December. Praise God. Uh, so. Laying all that out. Now, now I want to just charge us today for us, us to take control of our circumstances, for us to make a conscious effort and a conscious decision to realize that we have the ability to win in our lives today. But, but it starts with tangible application. It starts with us taking action for creating the life that we want. Like I always say at the end, creating the life and business of your dreams. So the, the first point I want to share with you here, and I'm going straight off the devotional. I mean, I'm going to ad lib a little bit, but I'm going to give you all this meat from the devotional because it was so good. I was like, nah, bro, the successors got to hear this because this is some cold. This, is, this isn't even cold content. This is cold life application. Uh, so here it is. The first thing it says, it says, let's change it today. And for number one, it says, no one can keep you in your current situation except for you. We must begin today to accept total responsibility to be victors, not victims. You are more than a conqueror, more than a victor. Today, I want you to understand, my friend, I want you to understand today that you have the ability to take charge over your situation in your life right now. Whatever it is, if it was any of those things I listed off, if it was none of those things that I listed off, if it was you preparing for your first speaking engagement, but you're playing the victim, poor me. Oh, I wasn't as prepared as I should have been. We'll get prepared. Like my friend, I want you to really, really, really understand this, though, because at the end of the day. What you decide to put in your mind, the perception that you decide to have that all falls on you, lack of preparation full preparation that falls on you what sacrifice you decide to make the sacrifice you decide to put in place and what you want to strive for to make happen do what you gotta do all right second thing i, I want us to take away right here the second point is people may have had something to do with how you got into this situation but only you can decide whether you stay in that situation or not. Let's think about it. Let, let's say, for instance, somebody gets laid off from work, right? You're like, man, my boss fired me. I'm mad at my boss. I'm angry at my boss. But then we have to really take a second and assess and go to the top of the ladder and say, well, my boss had to make some cuts because the company was making less money. So therefore, my boss 
had to let me go. Or my boss had to let somebody go. And then it just so happened to be me. At the same time, if you continue to remain without a job, that's not your boss's fault. If you were broken up in a relationship and then you think all men are bad, you say all women are bad, you say that you're never going to date anyone else again and you remain to be single. That's not anyone else's fault. That's your own fault because you've made the decision to where you would remain being single as opposed to you going out there. After you've done that work, after you've taken some time with yourself and then you get back on that horse and you say, well, all men aren't bad. I just had a bad situation. I had a tough situation. All women aren't bad. I just had a tough situation. And that's like some of us out here because I was one of the worst ones. When you end up realizing that you're dating the same person, they're just changing faces. One more time for my people in the back. You end up realizing that you're dating the same person, but they're just changing faces. That happens because sometimes right here, number two, that we never acknowledge that we put ourselves in this situation. We blame everybody else. And we never decide to change from the situation. So number two, really quick, last time, people may have had something to do with how you got in the situation, but only you can decide whether you stay in that situation or not. So friends, I'm, I'm gonna bring it to this, uh, bring it to this last point, and then we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. The victim mentality ends when we all take when we take full responsibility for our attitude and the direction of our life. In Deuteronomy chapter thirty, verse fifteen and nineteen says, "See, I have set before you this day life and prosperity and death and adversity." So choose life that both you and your descendants might live the victorious, abundant and God kind of life. The victim mentality ends when you take full responsibility. Today, I want you to take full responsibility of your life. Full responsibility of where your time goes, of where your money goes, of where your energy goes. All of those things fall on you. You can determine where your money goes because you determine where you swipe your card. You determine where your time goes because that's your thumbs that's scrolling on social media, right? <laughs> you determine where your energy goes and you can have a spat with your girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, husband, whatever. And you can say, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I am not going to. I'm not going to weigh in heavy on this person because I'm upset. They didn't do any. They might have did something, but I chose to be upset. So take full responsibility of your actions today. What does that look like? If you're saying I need to work out, then you get your butt up and then you go outside and you begin to walk around the neighborhood. You get up and you go to the gym and you invest in a membership because you take full responsibility of your finances. And then you began to get your walk on. You began to hit that stair master. You began to own your eating decisions. If you go on a keto diet, if you go on a vegan diet, or if you just don't diet at all, take full responsibility of all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and recap. Number one, the first thing I want us to talk about today, because we're not we're not victims anymore. We can't stop being a victim. Stop being a prisoner of your own life. It, 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 it don't make sense. Like and I'm so strongly passionate about this because I'm really talking to myself. I, I had to realize that, John, you were oversleeping and underperforming. John, you need to get your butt up. So I, what did I do? I set five alarms on my phone and I set my phone all the way across the room. So every time it went off, I would snooze, I would snooze, I would snooze. But then I would still be up by 530 because that was like the fifth alarm. Anyway, 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 that, that's my own personal uh, application. But the first point is no one can keep you in your current situation except you. So today, accept total responsibility to become a victor. So choose victory choose victory and when we say that for my sports fans out there the people who are the most victorious the people who win are the ones who choose victory Kobe Bryant was such a great champion because he had a short-term memory he would keep getting shots up if he missed the shot then he'd go back and shoot it again he didn't care because he was thinking about the shots he was going to make as opposed to thinking about the ones he was going to miss so choose victory today 
Say today going to be a great day. Say today, I won't let nothing distract me from getting to where I'm going to go. Today, nothing will stop me from doing the items on my to-do list. So choose victory. Second, people have something to do with your situation, but you can decide whether you stay there. So the second one, stop blaming people. Stop blaming people. They have a little bit of stake in your life if you choose to give it to them. And yes, a boss can fire you from a job. This is true. However, if you don't go and get another job, if you don't go and try to go for another opportunity, if you don't send another email, if you don't make another cold call, if you don't put yourself out there and begin to market through a webinar, or if you don't have a live training, or you don't give people an offering, you can't blame nobody else for that but you. Well, nah, my dad wasn't in my life. My mom wasn't in my life. People, I, I, I mean, I know that that's a serious thing. I know it's a real thing. But if you decide to... Just stay in that situation where you want to blame and point. You did this. It was your fault. No, but it's your fault that you didn't get yourself out of the situation. So do the work and get out of there, people. Come on now. And then lastly, the victim mentality ends when we take full responsibility of our attitude and the direction of our life. Our attitude, our attitude, our attitude. I had a bad attitude this morning. I had to send somebody a text and say, you know what? My attitude is trash. I love you and we're going to move on. Because you have to let the people in your life know that you love them. And you have to also take accountability and responsibility. You have to take responsibility. And then we also need to have a level of accountability in our lives. Because if we never are accountable for our own actions and we never own what we've done, then we'll continue to play the victim. We'll continue to point the finger and we'll continue to say why we didn't get to where we wanted to get in our lives. Friends, so I want you to remember Control, alt, delete. Control yourself, alter your thinking, and delete negativity. When we began to come from that place, when we began to control ourselves, control our attitude, control our energy, control our decisions, then we that changes us to shift our thinking. Because if you say, I'm going to have a great day, then everything that you're thinking becomes more optimistic. All the opportunities that are coming, you get a little bit more excited about. And then you delete that negativity because it has no place. It has no space to take precedent in your life. So my friends, if you're following us, or if you're not, SYS Podcast One on all the social platforms, And we would encourage you, if this has added value to you, then leave a a, a rate and review uh, wherever you listen to podcasts, uh, because we definitely appreciate those reviews and certainly appreciate you taking the time to leave it and it lending us your ears today, because you are the real MVPs, the successors. Y'all are the real deal. Holy feel. So that's why I'm grateful. I'm, I'm back right here in your ears, in your car, in your home, wherever it is, I'm grateful to have the opportunity to be that close to you and to be able to add value to you in this way. And if I further can add value, I want to let you know if you go to JonathanJonesSpeaks.com and click the link at the top that says free book, I want to uh, allow you to have a free copy of my book entitled Process, um, where we talk about other self-tangible strategies. And uh, after you cop the copy of the book, then we even have some video modules on demand that you can get access to as well. Um, But Go ahead on, click that free book link, and then uh, it'll prompt you after you say, yeah, I want the book, John, give me the book. Then it'll prompt you to sing about that offer for the video demand, the video sessions on demand with extra content where I walk through these strategies and walk through some different things. But friends, until next time, it's TEDx speaker and bestselling author Jonathan Jones reminding you. To speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way?